Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth plus love equals life. <clears throat> I just had a really mind-blowing revelation from God. Uh, I mean, it's just incredible what he's shown me. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen with cryptocurrencies. Uh, I do like them. I think they're really interesting. I have no idea whether they're going to hold value or be used for nefarious purpose or potentially, you know, the mark of the beast. But I'm here to tell you that the blockchain technology is going to be used so that when people take the mark of the beast, it will make the end user the supercomputer. It will be an interface with your brain, taking only the best parts of it so that everybody can have a big blockchain of the best aspects of everyone. And it's just fascinating because, you know, uh, God showed me before that it's like if you took the best not, it's like it is. If you took the best attributes of everyone that ever lived outside of Jesus, the best, not the worst, an infinite number of lifetimes all put together, that person would equal Lucifer. That's the pyramid bottom up. Jesus is top down. Period. That's his grace. There's no way to earn it or fix it or resolve it. It's just that's why he went to the cross. He's awesome. If you take the mark of the beast, that red logo that I showed you, it's not like you'll see it tattooed on the head. It will probably be, you know, like a, a holograph, like when you zing something at the club and you can see it like... Okay? It will be interfaced with your brain and whatnot. It will make you smarter, sexier, creative, better tennis player, whatever you want. You're going to go to hell for it, so what's the difference, right? Um, I might as well give you something. Stupidest thing you could ever do, but nonetheless, it's the case. Okay, so what they'll have, whether it's an energetic computer, a little bit of plasma, a microcomputer that's the size of probably, you know, a grain, less than, you know, smaller than a mustard seed. In fact, they'll probably sell it as a mustard seed. People buy it. This is part of the test. What it means, though, is that holograph means that the part contains the whole. So it's like if you had a whole puzzle, you only need one piece, and you could go. So part of the blockchain technology that's supposed to be so good is that it's non-local. It may be in a hundred different places in the world, and if all of them shut down except one, it has all the information to upload everything, and the idea being that it's a security feature like a chain game. So you only need to have one piece to bring them all back up. That's what the mark of the beast will be. You'll be the, the individual holographic part that contains the whole of the AI supercomputer. All you need is one person with that mark. You can upload the whole sucker. Humans have a way of surviving and moving around places. You'll be the one puzzle piece of Lucifer when you take this mark that could upload the whole hive in any one person. And that means all their personalities, their sexual history, their demon, whatever. It's all logged, categorized, in, is that word? Authenticated, whatever it is, you know, it's cataloged, cataloged. And it's digitized. Now remember, what's the word? Digitized, like numbers, also means like digits in hand. They worship the works of their hand. It's a reflection of our fallen works, like narcissists coming back at us saying how great we are. Look, I did something. Aren't I good enough? Can I fix myself? No. No, you cannot. You cannot. <laughs> I've tried like a fool. You want to do everything you can to be better. Guess what? You still got some chub and some gnarly and some grizzle and some hair not quite where you want it. You can't be good enough compared to Jesus. But that's great because that's philosophically necessary because we're all that wicked by choice and because Jesus is that great. So why is grace daddy ever? Period. So I want you to think about this blockchain technology, which I'm not an expert on at all. Cain, Cain is a chip off the old block. And he's a chain around his daddy's neck and his mama's neck. They're all chained together like the, you know, that, uh, Nuclear logo, that little zero point in the middle, that's the common ground. The Vesca Pisces, the Mona Lisa, the bottom line. Well, the bottom line is they want your soul. Now, Lucifer doesn't have clear title to the souls in hell, so at some point, 
When you see the whole world turn to individualism overnight, it's because somebody in the New World Order listened to this video and got very, 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 very deeply scared that the devil was going to skin them alive because the New World Order has been sending Lucifer 6,000 years of non-usable, perished, good, non-clear title souls to the he in hell because people don't own themselves until they're politically sovereign, man-to-man, -man on earth. So whenever that catches, whenever that happens, it's a... Uh, <laughs> would not want to be somebody serving the devil when he has to go to the devil and tell him, we've been sending you crap for 6,000 years and we just figured out you're a moron who didn't know you needed clear title to the souls in hell, so you're a friggin' moron and we just sold ourselves to a daddy who's so stupid he's not even a good spiritual banker. And the devil claiming to be God, which has to know all, can't tell you that he's a moron. So then he has to take that out on all of his New World Order children who have been screwing him over for 6,000 years, sending him rotten bananas. Oh, to be a fly on the wall at that meeting. <laughs> I mean, talk about like, gulp, tinkle downstairs. <laughs> Come on, that's some funny stuff, man. <laughs> he's got smoke coming out of his ears and blah, dragging the horns. He's got his trident. And he's like, guess where I'm shoving this, kid? <laughs> That's funny. So you're going to become the individual holographic part of the blockchain. It's a soul blockchain. It's the Sodomite Rebellion in the first Earth Age. Nothing new under the sun. Please don't do that. Because when you take that mark of the beast, you know, it's like, if we don't take it, okay, we'll be all right, but, I mean, we just, I mean, I deserve the same hell as Dave Rockefeller or whoever. It's like, I mean, I prefer not to see people go there for no other reason than just because it would be a waste of what Jesus did to see any one person not go there. And I say good to the last drop, you're supposed to use every ounce of that blood. And remember, we want to be in the blood, not just under the blood. We're under the authority of the blood. Let's put that in this video too. We want to be in the blood. Because if you're in the blood of Jesus, you're one little cell, a red blood cell. And a prison cell with Jesus sets you free because you've got to be enslaved to the truth. Now imagine if you were baptized and stayed <laughs> submerged in the blood of Jesus. Well, you're the little parasite. You're the blood fluke. Time for you to die. If you're in the blood... You couldn't sin, you couldn't screw up. It's really just, you know, I mean, that's how we'll be. Dragon Slayers is the leukocyte white blood cells right in the plasma of the etherity. But the red blood cell, well, that's got to be our heart for Jesus. And I'm well aware of how much attack everybody is under. This is very difficult times. And I am praying for those who, everyone, to repent. It's really very simple. My everything's wrong. Your everything's wrong. And everybody's everything is wrong. Except Jesus, which is why he's God. An all-time greatest badass ever. Please do not join the hive. They will sell you on everyone a queen. Think about that. The queen runs the hive. Well, Eve the whore Babylon, she's going to tell you you're a queen. You're just as good as her, but you're not. Not in their kingdom. They're pimps. If there's anything the street can teach us is this. As long as you're talking to a pimp, you're a hoe. He doesn't care what you say as long as there's a back and forth. Here we go around in circles. No swirling energy of the back and forth. Whenever you feel this swirling energy of the back and forth, he said, she said, Republican, Democrat. Now, sometimes somebody's just right. Sometimes a woman's right. Sometimes a man's just right. But whenever you feel, see this thing in the, this pendulum, pen, there's no pendulum with truth. It doesn't move because it's outside the space and time domain. As we progress in different subject matters, okay, things change. Perspectives, whatnot. But... Where's the truth going to go? Space and time have to conform to truth. There's no pendulum back and forth, pendulum back and forth. Stop. When you ever feel that, 
clear in the name of Jesus, truth plus love equals life, because you can you can feel it in your flesh and in your mind. It's a swirling energy back and forth and crazy, and what they say, whoever here, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> that's what it's meant to do. Okay, so I hope you consider this. Uh, it, it, it just really kind of shook me to my core. I want to put you in the pentagram core right here, and it's going to say lies plus hate equals death. But it'll be done in that logo form. And they'll claim that this is that's the, the mark of God. And, and this must be the mark of the beast. No, this is the seal of God. You notice there's no creepy hexagram on it? Because in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God. And the Word was God. That is the physical agency, the expression, and then the authority of the one true God of the Bible. Thanks for listening. Please do not take the mark of the beast. Uh, keep me in your prayers, and I will pray for you. Thanks. Be blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, truth plus love equals life.